faster. So if you push forward on the joystick, it'll bring it a little bit. That's, that's good. So now if you reach out, you'll see you'll get square blocks at the end of the yellow pointers. And then you can touch objects. So if you reach right there, so you can click anything you want. You have to reach out. There you go. Now you can rotate it. Whoop. Don't let go of the trigger. You're holding it. And now you can rotate it with the joystick. That's very nice. Yeah, so I can comments. see it says, thirsty hair needs some tender loving care. <laughs> Soft, shiny, totally put together hair. Very nice. So I can see the ingredients. I can turn it around. I can see how big the bottle is. And then put it back. Yeah, you just click the trigger. I'll go back. All right. Well, let's try something else. Let's try this one. So I can rotate it anywhere yeah, any I want. Yeah, any direction you want. And I can even read upside down. Look at that. I got <laughs> skills. So you just walk around this at like a store. Exactly. And you have so you different can move experiences it. with different items. Yep. You can move it. You can figure out what, what the products have. You can have details. So what will this be used for? Uh, well, stores use it to model a virtual environment. So they can model a virtual store first, have people shop in it, determine if it's confusing or not confusing, or they're not steered properly to the correct product. So testing. Because you pay for placement. And then turn that into the way they model an actual store. Right. So the testing, they maybe do focus groups with it. That exactly. is pretty cool.